Hey everyone, once been here with the Battle Report. So I brought, this is a, another game from last weekend, so it's the same list of, as, that I used in my uh, previous Battle Report. So I consider it more of a, um, a friendly beastman list with a lot of uh, small to medium-sized units. I rolled up a median engagement of ver versus a very themed demon army. Um, this player, I just love the list that he builds. He, he makes them very themed, they're very competitive, but they're not uh, stereotypical. And... Um, you know, a lot of times, like this list, he's recently put together and is just painting now. But, you know, give another month or two and it'll be beautifully painted. So anyway, uh, I rolled highest, so I chose sides and deployed first. But this is what he had starting on the left. Uh, some blood crushers led by a herald. Uh, two units of blood letters, both with a herald in there. The one in the middle has the BSB. And they are equipped, as you can see. Uh, and then he has this bloodthirster equipped like that. So this guy's just nasty. I've played against him before though. And then what we didn't see, of the, let's see, on my far right, he also had a unit of uh, flesh hounds. So uh, at the top I have Senegors. They rolled stubborn this game. I've got a Tuscor Chariot on the other side of that wall. Uh, my only horde, a horde of gore, two hand weapons. They've got my BSB in there. And he has the banner that gives him plus one strength. And then I've got a uh, Bray Shaman, level 2 Lore of Beast, with a scroll and the Warrior Bane Sword. Harpies, um, Gorgon, couple Razor Gores. And all this stuff rolled off the table. <laughs> so Tuscor Chariot, my unit of Best of Gores with the Standard of Discipline and my General. And then another unit of Gore. And then I had a unit ambushing. I, I don't know why I do that, except I'm just a glutton for punishment. Uh, the Beastman ambush rule just uh, is, yeah. So anyway... It, this didn't really kill my game. Um, all it really meant is I, I really just needed to stay back enough with my troops so that I could bring these guys on turn one and still have a coherent battle line. So luckily I was able to go first, and so um, you can see I didn't really move forward with with uh, the other units. I did just I did take my chaff. Like if you look at the harpies behind his blood letters, I moved them up a little bit. I moved one of my razor gores up. Just need to get my chaff in place so I can do some redirection. Um, Let's see, here on the left, I so I rolled for my ambushing unit. Oh wait, yeah, there's another another uh, chariot on the far left. Uh, that's where I brought him in at. Uh, this is the ambushing unit, so I rolled a 1, so my, oppo my opponent got to place him. So he put him within easy charge reach of his blood crushers. So what I did, th so then I put my chariot to the left, and I angled my my general's bestigore unit to the right. And I'm thinking, this is actually, this could actually work. Um, if he charges my general's unit, he'll probably fail. If he charges that gore unit, he will certainly win, um, but I will almost certainly be steadfast on a 10, because my general's leadership 9, and then he has a standard of discipline. And then I can do a, a dual flank charge with my general's unit, uh, with best of gores, which are perfect anti-cavalry uh, guys, and my test score uh, getting some impact hits on the left. So I was happy enough with how that turned out. Uh, over here on the right, it is as you can see. Not sure how I want to deal with his general. There's just really, there's just really no good way. He's just tough. I mean, the best I can do is just hold him up for a while. But really, with the exception of my horde, I don't have a unit that's going to hold him up for very long. And I need my horde to be able to handle one of his um, bloodletter units. What I'm hoping I can do is get my general's unit to take care of those blood crushers quickly, turn around, and have that flank. And so maybe I can get a, a unit of gore and the unit of of best of gores on one of his bloodletter units. And I think my horde should be able to take care of his other bloodletter unit. And then I don't know what I'm going to do about his general. So there's the far right. And during the magic phase, I got the Curse of Honor here off on one of his units and got Irresistible Force, lost two magic levels, and now I have no magic phase. Now, of course, in case you didn't pick up on it, he doesn't have a magic phase e either. This very corn themed uh, you know, kind of... They don't believe in the magic. He actually has a lot of magic resistance in the unit, in, in, in his units. Um, so for the rest of the game, you won't hear me talking about magic, because there is no magic, there is no shooting. We are two combat-focused armies about to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So we go to Demon's turn one. Uh, his general charges a Razor Gore, I flee, and then he charges a unit of Gore. I thought almost certainly he would fail, but he rolled high enough he was able to make it. It's not really the end of the world. I mean, he's going to win. Um, they're not going to last long. I think they'll probably last two or three rounds of combat. They'll be steadfast on a 10 re-rollable. So, 
yeah, I mean, it'll time up for a turn, maybe two, and then we'll just have to see. Uh, otherwise, his blood letters, I don't know if they charged and failed or if they just moved up a little bit. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. There's my fleeing Razor Gore. And, of course, his Blood Crushers come into that Gore unit. It, you know, it was to be expected. Uh, those guys hit really hard. But, you know, that's 8th edition is infantry. You know, they're lose, but at least they'll be steadfast and can set up some counter charges. So there's that one. That's going <laughs> to be a long uphill battle. And he takes his Flesh Hounds and moves them up on the right. I really don't know how to deal with these Flesh Hounds. Um, I thought what I would try to do is just charge my Senegor in there, uh, knowing that I'm going to lose in long term, but hoping maybe I can pop one or two of them. Uh, if I can get a good charge in at strength 5, as uh, my best chance to maybe do some wounds, and then maybe with combat res, um, you know, see how that goes. Uh, after combat, it looks like this. You know, in hindsight, I think he forgot to do his Thunder Stomp, because I'm actually not missing that many guys. But anyway, he won. Uh, you notice I did one wound to him, so I was, I was pretty happy about that, actually. Uh, he won. I was steadfast on a 10 with a reroll, so um, so we stuck there. And then I forgot to take an after picture here, but basically what happened is the Blood Crushers came in. They killed a bunch of guys. I was steadfast, barely. I think I had five guys left. It was amazing how many wounds he did to me. But anyway, I was steadfast on a 10, no reroll because the BSB is not nearby, and they failed it and ran off the board, and the Blood Crushers ran off the board. So I'm like, dang it, now my General's unit is totally out of position. They can't realistically charge anything else. And now the Blood Crushers are going to be able to just come on their turn. And I... Uh, <laughs> that hurt. That, really, that, yeah, that did hurt. So we go to Beastman turn two. Um, starting at the the top, you see I, I took my Cynagores into his Flesh Hounds. I took the Harpies up to redirect... Uh, his his blood letters. I have no idea why I did that. Um, I should have just taken my my horde and uh, made sure I had the wall in front of me and let the blood letters come in there. They'd be minus one to hit their first round of combat. Even though they have hatred, at least I'd have that going for me. And so what if they charge me? But anyway, I tried to redirect with my harpies. Uh, the other harpies really they failed their their uh, march leadership test. They couldn't march, so they could only go ten inches. So the other harpies couldn't get in front of the other unit of blood letters, so I just brought them up as close as possible so I could maybe be used as a redirector later. Of course, the big news is I took the Gorgon into the flank of his of his bloodthirster. So what I was thinking there is, you know, this guy's strength six, I'm I'm toughness six. So if he goes and directs all his attacks against my gore, he's gonna win, but my Gorgon's gonna be stubborn. And I'm gonna have seven attacks strength six to his toughness six it's my best chance of being able to do a couple wounds with a charge and a flank with those yeah he's probably still going to win combat but i might be able to get some wounds on him if he directs all his attacks at the gorgon he's strength six to my toughness six so it's going to be harder for him to wound me and i actually have a decent chance of winning combat because i'll have a standard and two ranks a flank and a charge so i, I was pretty hopeful about how that might turn out i don't think the gorgon's going to last long but I think he might do the trick to, to help um, whittle down this bloodthirster. There we go. So it looks something like that. There's that. I, I don't remember what I was thinking, why I was trying to redirect there. And Senegor's into the face of his flesh hounds. Yeah, that didn't work at all. <laughs> at all. So Senegor's are initiative two. Flesh Hounds were hitting on threes, two attacks each, strength five. Yeah, that was just ugly. I did do one wound to him. Yay. Uh, yeah, live and learn. Senegors are not anti-Flesh Hound material. And this, he did it. He he allocated all of his attacks at my Gorgon. And uh, so he's he has six attacks, hitting on threes, I think even re-rolling. And he did four wounds. Uh, hitting on threes, wounding on fours. So I, I think in my head I was I was thinking he would do two wounds on me, and if he got lucky, maybe three. Um, I don't know if I was, maybe I was just doing the math wrong. Either way, did four wounds. And then, of course, he has his Thunder Stomp on the, on the gore. And so, yeah, he just, he held his own very, very nicely. I don't know who got the extra wound on him, if it was my Gorgon or the gore, but, but he's sitting on two wounds, so it's a start. But uh, that, that plan did not go <laughs> nearly as well as I'd hoped. And, you know, the problem here, when the Gorgon comes in, yeah, he's strength six, but 
This Bloodthirster's weapon skill 10, so I'm hitting on 5s with no Primal Fury. I don't think... I really think the Gorgon missed all of his attacks, and I think the wound on the Bloodthirster came from a, from a Gore. So... Anyway, we go to Demon's turn 2. Uh, if you look at the left, his his uh, Bloodletter's made it into my General's unit, which I think is fine. I think it's going to be bloody. Um, but, you know, Best of Gore are okay, and it's got my General in there. Uh, on the right... His bloodletters charged my harpies. I fled and rolled a, like a one, a one, and a two, or something like that. So he just he just caught the harpies and took a leadership test and reformed. So again, I don't really know why I did that. His blood his blood crushers come back on the table. I like how he set up to where my my chariot can come in his flank because he just doesn't care. <laughs> he's like, what are you gonna do? You gonna charge me? Yeah, have fun with that. So that's what this looks like. Uh, sorry for the blurry picture. Yeah, this is tough. Um, his general allocated all his attacks at my Gorgon, killed it, thunder stomped my Gore. Luckily, I held. Um, his bloodletters charged my Bestigore and just tore them a new one. Uh, my general killed his, his Herald Battle Standard Bearer, so that was nice. But other than that, uh, his guys just tore my guys up. Uh, beat him in combat. I lost the standard of discipline. Did not run off the table, didn't get caught, but. What's it matter? What am I going to do? Rally and then and then what? Have it happen again? Except now I'll be at a more of a disadvantage. Uh, so we go to my turn. I, I do rally my general. Uh, I charge the horde of gore with the plus one strength banner into his his unit of bloodletters. I'm thinking at least that. I mean, his bloodthirster is going to win combat. My general is going to lose the next time he charges. Uh, hopefully, you know, my gore will my horde of gore will win with enough guys left over that they can maybe handle something else. My chariot charges into the flank of his blood crushers. There we go. Pretty excited to roll that one out. Uh, take my chariot into the face of these flesh hounds. I know I don't have any chance at all there. I'm hoping with impact hits, I might be able to take out one or two. Otherwise, you know, just what's the chariot? What good is the chariot going to do me? Yeah, so on the left side of this picture is where my horde of gore with the battle standard bear used to be. Um, yeah, at this point, I didn't know what to say. I mean, I, I had a horde. It was my, it was my, the only unit I have with any real sustainable hitting power. Charged into the face of this bloodletter unit and got totally slapped around, beaten in combat, ran down. I, 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 I don't know how to counter that. The chariot, of course, lost the flesh hounds. Um, my chariot, my chariot came in the flank. The blood crushers, I think, did enough wounds to to take off one of them, and then you know he just reformed. He's going to kill this guy next turn. And at that point, you know, as his Bloodthirster finished off the rest of those gore, um, my Razor Gore failed his panic test, whatever. At that point, we both just called it. I've got nothing on the table that can sustain anything except my General's unit, and they've already been beaten once, and they're about to get beaten again. So we both called it and said, let's just get another game in. <laughs> it was just ugly, ugly. I don't know. I mean, I, there are some things I, I definitely would do differently. I, my chaff units were very, very poorly positioned, and then I just threw them out there redirecting for redirecting's sake instead of actually having some kind of coherent plan for it. So, And I also, it was a very poor matchup just throwing away my Senegors at his Flesh Hounds, although that wasn't game-changing. Uh, it really hurt when my Gore unit uh, failed at Stubborn 10 and got beat by the Blood Crushers. Uh, if I had won that, I could have redirected this uh, other unit until I did take care of the Blood Crushers. And my Horde of Gore with the BSB getting just owned by that other unit of, of Blood Letters, I don't know. I don't know what I should expect there. Um, if it was just unlucky, that's fine. I might need to just... Yeah, I don't know. If I can't take care of that, then then uh, <laughs> I don't know how to play this list. But anyway, that was a, a nice, humbling undertaking for the uh, Beastman. Hope you enjoyed it.